investigative journalism is nothing new, but I think it is the most expensive way of storytelling. Uh, and because it uh, involves a lot of research. I like uh, writing for straight news. Uh, you just report the facts on, based on what you see and what you heard. And it's actually breaking the news story. But when you are doing investigative journalism, you are researching a lot because you are looking for some kind of wrongdoings uh, in government or in uh, business. No? You talk to a lot of people, you get a lot of background, and usually a story would last for months to years. Uh, for example, when we did the uh, Duterte's drug war, it started in 2016. We're covering a lot of killings. Sometimes in one day, you go to at least 10 cases where may dead on the spot. Some dead bodies were thrown in some remote or isolated areas. Na masking tape, no, and everything. Mas matrabaho, mas tedious, mas mahirap. Pero the principles are the same. No? Whether you write for a breaking news or write for an investigative story, it's all the same. You write for accuracy, fairness, and unbiased reporting. When you are writing an investigative journalism, dapat definite na may source ka. Actually, hindi yan overnight eh. Kinukultivate mo yung source, no? Kinakaibigan mo, no? Nung yung ginagawa namin yung ano, yung Duterte's drug war, ang source namin doon ay mga polis, mga high-ranking generals. Itong mga to, eh, nakilala ko, tenyente pa lang. So, kita mo yung yung progress, no? From, they were lieutenants, captains, hanggang naging general sir. Siguro na build yung trust because alam nila na they can trust me. Hindi sila susunugin. No? I can protect them. In our case, no? uh, during the Duterte administration, si Duterte nagalit sa ibang publication kasi hindi solid yung information. No? Pero ang Reuters, in all 10 special reports, in 17 months, hindi dinenay ni Duterte. Because we always see to it na kunin yung side nila. So pag may ginawa kami yung storya, uh, pinapadala namin ng questionnaire, yung Malacanang, si Harry Roque, o yung police, uh, they are free to respond to us. Yung storya na yan, hindi ko inaasahan na mananalo kasi, alam mo naman yung police is US-centric. Yan yung pinaka-first na Philippine-based story written by one of Filipinos, no, the journalist. And uh, siguro, I'm the second after Carlos P. Romulo, who is based in Manila, who won the Pulitzer. Siguro, we were recognized because of uh, the stories we did. No? Our story is different because we traced no, yung how the drug war started, sino yung pumapatay, sino yung mga biktima, and then we shattered the belief that vigilantes were behind some of the killings because we, we said that these are police officers. A lot of research will uh, give you a lot of uh, branches, ano? Sasanga -sanga. So you have to pursue uh, what is the, the best angle, uh, not exactly the most controversial, but I think the most airtight. Kailangan solid yung, ano mo, yung story mo based on evidence, based on facts, tsaka based on truth, siyempre. Music